lots of things happen at Cannon Hall and these things happen to staff and visitors alike and we're not sure why they happen. We've had sightings, feelings, smells, noises, all kinds of things. A lot of the activity that we've seen has been focused in and around the kitchen and we've had pokers flying and rose petals scattered down there. A recent sighting was of somebody walking up some stairs. Members of staff were here late after an event and witnessed some legs actually walking up some stairs and obviously they weren't there when we went back to check. There's one where a member of staff has a niece and she said to her aunt, where's that little boy today? And, and she said, which little boy? And she said, you know, that little boy that's always following you is always there. And so she could see this boy and nobody else could. I do like the one with the rose petals, though, that was sprinkled on a member of staff's head. And we understand that that is a spirit welcome. Friends of Cannon Hall produced a book a couple of years ago now called The Other Friends of Cannon Hall. And what we did over the period of about a year is compile and document the stories and they were all put together and published in a little book which is available in our shop at £1.50. Because it, it's tongue in cheek anyway, we're not saying that there are any ghosts, we're just saying that things happen and we're not sure why. We wouldn't want to offend or upset anybody, but obviously we, we can provide entertainment and, and that's what we're doing. We're not saying there are ghosts or anything like that. People are absolutely fascinated with it and we get lots of approaches from paranormal groups wanting to spend the night at Cannon Hall and see if they can detect any paranormal activity. We were approached a few years ago by Derek Okora and they wanted to film the Midsummer Live special at Cannon Hall. When we approach, you put we have hands in and yeah. we want us to come in. Um, yeah. Why did you let us come in? Because we know you and we trust you. I knew what you were going to do and we knew that, that the approach we were looking at tonight was not going to cause any offence or, or cause any concerns for anybody. Saturday night we've got a play in the ballroom called Haunted. Um, that's not suitable for young children so we think it is going to be quite scary. And then on Sunday on the 31st we've got our usual Halloween ghost walks which walk around the grounds and enter the hall and they are just stories but they're designed to scare you and they will. Make sure to check out the other video on our homepage which shows the investigation into the Victorian kitchen.